Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria modded playthrough coming at you from the Calamity mod. There's only really one episode end goal we're going for today, my friends, and that is the Wall of Flesh. That is right. The Wall of Flesh is going to be who we're going for today. As you can see, it is the final boss in pre-hard mode. And yeah, hopefully we'll have a good time taking him down and hopefully beginning hard mode. Oh, snap. It's going to be an interesting one, isn't it, my friends? But we do have some stuff to do before we head into hard mode. Okay, first of all, making the Knight's Edge or Bloody Edge or whatever it may be, uh, I think would be a very, very good idea. Maybe we can see if there's any other Ranger weapons that we can make ourselves and uh, yeah we need to explore the underworld in general as well and that of course means being able to get down to the underworld which for us means we're going to use these here scour bombs to make ourselves a nice easy elevator. Of course, my friends, I do want to say an enormous thank you for all of your lovely support throughout the series so far. I really do appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue supporting the series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like beneath the video. It truly does help out the video, myself and the channel massively when you do go ahead and do that. Hit the subscribe button, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you want to go one further with your support, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. Honestly, scarab bombs have definitely been one of the most amazing additions to Terraria in the last few years. I mean, well, one of the very, very many <laughs> amazing additions in the last few years. But yeah, this one stands out in particular because it just allows you to be able to get to the underworld with absolute ease. You don't have to do a massive digging session to get to the underworld anymore. I like how there's a webbed chest in our way. <laughs> Of all the things to be in the way of our elevator. Yeah, that, that's not something I was expecting. And ladies and gentlemen, with only two scarab bombs to spare, we are now at the underworld. Finally, my friends, finally. That actually took a long time. But uh, here we are. We got there in the finish, and now we have nice, easy access to the underworld, which is actually fantastic because it's something we most definitely do need easy access to. So, yeah, very, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, start organizing our inventory, try and get the shadow key back out, wherever it may be, and uh, we're going to begin on a little bit of underworld exploration. So then, we have a Lunarium bow, which requires a tendon or demon bow, the bees knees, and the molten fury. The molten fury is something we are still yet to get, and then, of course, purified gel from the slime god. That should actually be pretty easy. We've got the fungus side, which we're going to give a go down in the underworld. We've got the unreal musket, which actually cannot be upgraded uh, until later down the line, that is. Plasma rifle, so that's something interesting to uh, bear in mind. Uh, but moving on, we've got, oh, the box standard mega shark and star cannon. I thought maybe there might have been like a modded upgrade for this thing, but no. All right, so demonite bar. We can at least make ourselves the demon bow. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you guys would agree. And uh, yeah, now we need to head on down to the underworld to get ourselves a bunch of epic stuff. We've already got the obsidian. We just need the hellstone. So then here it is, the boomstick. We will indeed see what we can make with this bad boy. The aqua shard shotgun. Uh, we can make that pretty easily, actually. And then, of course, the firestorm cannon. Oh, snappers. I mean, the aqua shard shotgun does, in every way possible, more damage, doesn't it? Converts musket balls into aqua shards that split upon hitting an enemy. This seems like the logical thing to go for, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Here it is, my friends. The Aqua Shard shotgun already ruthless at the start. Needless to say, we're going to go for Unreal on all of these Ranger weapons that we're going to be making here today. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some cool stuff to come, my friends. Nice. We can have permanent rage and wrath effects for increased damage. Heck to the gosh darn yeah. We need 30 of each of those bad boys. And then we're going to be an absolute friggin' unit, aren't we? An absolute unit. Uh, right, there's the obsidian skin potion, though. And finally, of course, where's the water walking potion? Is it this one? Nope, this one? Nope. Uh, oh, no, there it is. Found it. So then, in they go. And that will give us four new permanent buffs. <laughs> so, here we are, my friends. Time to do some exploring. Oh. Very good. You know what? I think I may have been sleeping on this shade thrower. It's actually really, really good, isn't it? I cannot complain. I honestly cannot complain. It is absolutely beautiful. All right, our first shadow chest. We have ourselves a hell wing bow, and it is indeed a material. What's a material for? 
A flare wing bow. Ooh. Whoa! Literally the second demon I kill. And we already have for ourselves a rather good weapon. Uh, Ashen stalactite. Oh, another weapon. My goodness me. What the hell? What? That is incredible. That thing goes ahead and like homes in on dudes. It goes through walls as well. Oh, and I've just accidentally summoned in. Oh, good grief. What have I done? Oh, dear Lord. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do this. This was a mistake. By every stretch of the imagination, this was a mistake. I'm almost certainly going to get caught up somewhere. Uh, right, let's try this thing. I don't know how this is going to go. What the devil? Oh, dear. Uh, we're in trouble here. I cannot get through. <laughs> hey! Hey! It <laughs> I was kind of using the wall of flesh to phase through the building. Yeah, it didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> oh, that's what you get, isn't it? And I know as soon as I try... Wait, did it just despawn? Ah. That's interesting. I thought that the wall of flesh would still be down here, and therefore if I try to go back down there now, he would simply sort of lure me along to wherever he is. Ah, the fleshy doll. So I'm pretty sure this makes it so you don't have to have a guide in your world in order to summon in the wall of flesh. So actually, that would be pretty darn useful, I would say. So yeah, very, very good. So then, back to the exploration, I think, my friends. We need to look for a hell forge at the very least so we can actually make ourselves the, uh, the beautiful hellstone bars. There we are. All right. This is going to be easy as pie. Of course, some of you might call the whole infinite buffs thing a bit cheaty, but honestly, I just kind of want to progress through this mod and, uh, you know, get this series finished and this playthrough done, you know? I don't want to be held up by having to make myself a crap ton of potions and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? All right, good news. We found ourselves a Hellforge, which is lovely. There we have it. Picked it up and we are ready to make ourselves some Hellstone bars finally. That is an enormous vein of hellstone holy crap holy <laughs> so we've already got upwards of 500 hellstone i think that's going to be enough to make ourselves a bunch of the stuffs that we are looking for so 179 bars is the amount we have and well as a result of that we can now make ourselves quite a lot of stuff uh, starting off of course with the molten fury we pop over here and the Lunarian Bow should be able to be made. There we are. There's the Purified Gel. All we've got to do is pop down here and bada bing bada boom. I'd love to see it. We have a Lunarian Bow. So then, Stata Gel Armor I think would be a good idea as well. As I'm pretty sure it would provide more buffs than the Necro Armor does. And probably more defense as well by a little bit. Okay, so we need ourselves a static refiner. Hopefully that won't be too difficult to make. Let's have a look. Static refiner. We need a solidifier and purified gel. That should be pretty easy. I'm pretty sure we've got solidifiers. In fact, there's one right there. Right. Where is this thing made? There it is. Let's place this bad boy down. And there we have it, my friends. Static gel armor. Static gel greaves. And we're looking for the ranger helmet. There it is. Yeah. 51 defense is the amount we currently have, and we're going up to 57. Set bonus, when you take over 100 damage in one hit, you become immune to damage for an extended period of time. Grants an extra jump and increased jump height, and 12% increased jump speed. Whoa, that's pretty good, isn't it? All right, excellent. Nice. All right, well, uh, yeah, with that done and dusted, can we maybe see if we can make anything else with the purified gel? I don't really know. Let's have a little bit of a look here. Uh, no, is the simple answer to that. We can make ourselves gel darts if we really wanted to, but um, we're sticking with our ranger set for now. Ah, the Knight's Edge, as it turns out, also requires purified gel. We could make that now, actually. We should be able to make ourselves a fiery greatsword. Pretty darn easy like. In fact, we might as well do the whole shaboodle here. We've got ourselves the molten pickaxe, of course. We've got the molten ham axe. The imp staff... Probably not. I think we could do without that. I rather enjoy my magic conch death stare rock combo. We'll also need ourselves the grass blade and also the blood butcherer or knight's 
Edge, Knight's Bane, Light's Bane. I can't remember what the bleeding thing's called. There's so many names of things to remember in this game, isn't there? Oh, very good. So, Demonic Bone Ash and four Hellstone Bars will allow us to make ourselves the Demon Conch. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? For the Jungle Spores, I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and just sort of buy the little bits of bobs. No, that's the accessories guy. Uh, no, this isn't the guy either. Oh, good lord. I can't remember who's who. I think it's one of these guys on the left, actually. Uh, no, not this one. I think it's the operator. Yeah, jungle spores. Love it. Okay. It also turns out we've got ourselves a traveling merchant here, so we might as well see what he's got. A mysterious cape. Uh, sure. I'll opt for a black cape as opposed to a red one. I kind of like that. We've got the frost barrier as well. So then here's the grass blade. And ladies and gentlemen, the bloody edge. If we really wanted to, we can make that. A chance to heal the player on enemy hits. Or you've got the regular knight's edge, which has way more damage and inflicts shadow flame on hit. Ooh. The ability to heal though, man. That's going to be a hard one to pass up. Like... Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing the bloody edge. Legendary bloody edge. Oh, this thing is a thing to behold, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're just about there with our preparations. Uh, Unreal, Lunari, and Bow. Yep, obviously, why would I not go for that? Uh, yeah. All right, we've got just about every top tier thing we could possibly get. I wonder, if I was to go to the desert pylon and then use the demon conch... What would happen? Where are we? Oh, we were at the center of the world. Ah, oh, well, there's me thinking I might, like, go to just underneath where we currently are in the world. But no, it doesn't seem to be the case. All right, we've got ourselves a Sun Fury. So then, my thinking is that we go to the very, very, very far right-hand side of the world where there's no houses, right? And then we do the Wall of Flesh fight over there. What do you guys think, eh? I think that'd be a good way to go because then we'll have a lower chance of the houses, you know, getting in our way. We don't want that to happen because otherwise that's pretty much just a loss. We've got ourselves a Treasure Magnet and Ornate Shadow Key. And it goes without saying, yes, I am kind of rushing my way into hard mode here. And that's because there's a lot of cool things to be done in hard mode, my friends. I feel like once we have pre-hard mode behind us we'll start having a bit more fun with this series you know what i'm saying so yeah that's why it might seem like i'm kind of rushing a little bit i just kind of want to just want to get to the fun stuff you know what i mean all right looks like we've come across the area of the underworld where there's no houses and as a result of there being no houses they shouldn't get in the way so we should at the very least have a very 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 strong start to the wall of flesh fight oh yeah I forgot about this place. I forget that you get these structures all over the place in the Calamity mod. Okay, right. If I could get rid of that, then get myself over here. Maybe do a little bit of this. Get rid of this, ideally. There we are. Right. Now we have ourselves a bunch of chests. ID and power level locked. The Murasama. 3,000. 1811 damage there will be blood id and power level blocked prove your strength or have the correct user id to wield this sword it just flat out gives you the sword but you're not allowed to use it oh that is an interesting mechanic i can't say i've ever seen that before in terraria that's pretty cool actually now then question do we have any other things to pick up around here that is the question. Any other cool things? We've got an extractinator. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. Will you stop shooting me? Get out of here, man. There we are. good -o. Right, yeah, I was asking whether or not there's going to be any more chests. It doesn't look like it. There we are, my friends. We're going to go ahead and buff up. Uh, we do not need gravitation, inferno, and life force. That is going to be very nice, isn't it? So then, let's see what our various dudes can do here. Oh, snappers. We do still have to be relatively careful. We can't just sort of brute force this. We still have to be, you know, relatively careful, don't we? Okay, Lunari and Bo coming in very nice, I must say. Yeah. Alrighty. Already about a fifth of the way down in terms of the old uh, healthy doodles. About a quarter of the way down. Because this is master mode as well as death mode, it does mean that this guy's going to continually sprout back the uh, the hungry dudes. 
So that's just something to bear in mind. I'd like to know which of my weapons here is going to be the best one for just pure DPS. Honestly, I don't know. It's rather nice having the ability to have my uh, projectile split. That's kind of cool. Although what isn't cool right now is my severe lack of health. We're already down about a half health on the wall of flesh. But uh, my health isn't looking so good. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is bad. This is bad. We're now coming across the houses. About a quarter health left, my friendos. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Keep an eye on where you're going there, Python. There we are. Just got to get across here. And I'm dead. What the hell was that? Did you guys just see that? Did you just see those fire projectiles? Interesting. Interesting, Terraria. Very, very interesting. I uh, can't say I was expecting that. Uh-huh. Right. You know what? You know what I'm feeling? I'm, I'm feeling a class change to melee. I want to give this uh, godly blade crest oath sword a real proper go, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to switch ourselves back to melee, and we're going to see what this thing can truly do. Just without saying, though, the first thing we're going to do is make ourselves the molten armor. Because, I mean, why would I not do that? Holy crap. 4,771 true melee damage with the Murasama. <laughs> That's ridiculous, bro. That is truly, truly, truly ridiculous. Oh, Goblin Army, really? You can't just do me the honours of just screwing off for a bit, eh? Nah, screw this event, man. I'm going back to do some more uh, Wall of Flesh goodness stuffs. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get back to the right-hand side. Let's give this another go. Right, so my plan this time is to use the bloody edge to maybe take out all of the eater dudes first, right? Kind of similar to how way back in the day you would use a knight's edge to take down all of the eater dudes first, and then you'd switch to a ranged weapon to do the remaining bulk of damage to the wall of flesh itself. And bada-bing, bada-boom. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Oh, snappers. Well, it's certainly doing some damage, but honestly, not a great deal, if I'm honest. Not as much as I maybe first thought I would. But, uh, yep, we're doing okay. I can't complain so far. We're not doing bad by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe melee truly is still the way to go with the wall of flesh. Almost halfway down in terms of the health pool here, my friendos. About a third health left, but uh, my health isn't looking so great itself. Okay, just about got our own health back. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the houses. A quarter health left now. Come on, no, we're sort of choking this. Ah! Oh! Again, again, we got them down to a quarter. And then, for some reason, my sword was just doing nothing to it. You want to know the annoying thing as well? Because this isn't 1.4.4, it means we do not have the overhauled version of the Knight's Edge. Which, as you guys may or may not remember, in my old Legendary Mode series... That bad boy can single-handedly take down the wall of flesh with absolute ease. But no. No, no, no. We're not in that version, unfortunately. All right, fine. We'll go ahead and do ourselves some little hell bridges here, especially over the sort of more difficult places to uh, traverse. And then we'll give this thing another go. But this time, I'm kind of thinking I might try to go a little bit more sort of close and personal uh, with the uh, bloody edge here. I just figured... It would be a good idea to try it. Alrighty, my friends. I must admit, this time I'm actually not expecting to win. I'm going for the whole reverse psychology thing. Let's hope that it works. Come on now. Okay, let's see if we can get up close and personal with this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. This isn't going well. Well, they're saying that. Ooh, I was getting healed quite a lot there. Yeah, that was... Obsidian shield. Two words. Obsidian shield. Should have thought about this before, really, eh? But uh, I guess we got there in the finish, right? All right, there it is. 11 defense in one accessory. What do we take off, though? That is the question. Uh, bundle of balloons, maybe? Luxor's gift. I don't know, dude. Do we take off the crawl carapace? That basically has a permanent thorns effect. But then again, we already have thorns. So actually, 
We probably could take that off, right? So this time I'm expecting to maybe get a little bit further than last time. I mean, we were doing a ridiculous amount of damage output, weren't we? Like, seriously, we were. But uh, yeah, we kept on colliding with the wall itself. And that is a big fat no-no in terms of if you want to survive. All right. Attempt number four, I think. Just sort of get right into it. Get into the mix, my friendos. Oh, yeah. Doing damage. Taking names. Feels good, baby. All right. All right. Very, very good. Right. Now, we get on to the wall itself. And we see what we can do, really. Yeah. Look at that health regen. Very good, isn't it? Hey, eh? Coming back real nice, like. Keep ourselves on the floor here. Doing a fairly all right job, I would say. But uh, our health regen is still not tip top, it has to be said. And we're dead. I got caught on the terrain. I got caught on the terrain. This is where me trying to rush through the game is actually working quite badly against me. Because I feel like I now need to have like five episodes where I'm just trying to prepare for this godforsaken fight. Like my brain is already at the stage of trying to take down Cryogen, for example. But the reality of the situation is we can't even take down the wall of flesh because probably I'm just not prepared enough. Oh, what are my friends? It's been a few hours since the last cut and I've kind of decided Decided, let's go ahead and upgrade ourselves once and for all. I've done a bunch of researching and various other bits and bobs, and I've determined that taking off the bundle of balloons is probably in our best interests. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the jelly charged battery, which gives us plus one max minions and 7% minion damage, so our little death stare rod magical conch duo does slightly more damage. I thought that'd be a good idea. So. There it is. It's beautiful. The Voltaic Jelly for it, by the way, you get from the Sunken Sea underneath the desert biome. So, yeah, that was actually pretty easy to get. The rest of it is stupidly easy to get. So, there we have it. Menacing means we have 11% increased minion damage now, as opposed to just 7. So, that's pretty dang cool, if you ask me. We're going to opt for our Ranger set again, because after watching back the beginning part of today's episode, it actually turns out that I did the best with my Ranger loadout. So... Yeah, we're going to stick with our Stathagel Ranger armor, and we've got all of our other accessories here, and to be honest, I feel like we're just about ready to give this another go, but, and it's a big but, what we're going to do, my friends, to try and ease our way is we are indeed going to make ourselves a whopping great lava bridge. And the lava bridge is going to extend all the way from the far right inside of the world to the middle. And I'm just going to kind of hope that that is going to be enough to take down the wall of flesh in death mode, master mode. Okay, so I think what we should do, my friends, is we should buy ourselves a bunch of ash blocks and uh, just sort of get to this thing. It's going to be a long and arduous process, but I do believe, in fact, I firmly believe that it's going to be worth it. Oh, before I get on with that though just to mention real quick i actually decided to upgrade my ammo just a little bit we have acceleration rounds here these are created using the pearl shards or victory shards i think they used to be called 14 ranged damage as opposed to what only 10 with the default musket balls and these come with the added bonus of gaining speed over time whether or not that's going to be useful for us with the wall of flesh fight remains to be seen but at the very least we have four additional damage per bit of ammo and that is not insignificant, eh? So, yeah, it should do the job in terms of doing damage, my friendos. And yes, my friends, the whole lava bridge dealio also includes trying to wipe out a bunch of these areas here so we can actually hit the wall of flesh as we go along here. Having all these buildings in the way... Nah, doesn't help our cause, does it? So, uh, yeah, guys, let's just uh, sort of take it from the top. I'll take you through what I'm doing here. I'm putting down these buff stations every now and then, which has a peace candle, a campfire for life regen, a heart lantern for additional health regeneration as well, and, of course, a bast statue for additional defense. All of this stuff, I feel, is going to be essential to our ability to survive this up coming battle. But uh, yeah, we've got this bridge going on and basically any houses that we wind up coming across, anything above the bridge is what we're basically ridding. So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So far so good, although it seems that I'm not actually sticking to my own idea here. There we are, get rid of that. 
And then that is sort of the center of the world. So that'll be sort of the end of it. And I'm hoping, of course, that I never actually wind up getting to the middle part. Alrighty, guys. Quick progress update. I've gone ahead and gotten this far, which, what, is about 40% of the way through the right-hand side of the world here. And I've been working on this for about 45 minutes. But I've been doing this to such an extent that we just can't possibly lose this fight. If I lose this fight still... Even though I'm putting all this effort into making this arena and this lava bridge and all these buff stations, then I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've had 15 buff stations placed down so far. Obviously, again, consisting of all of these things right here. And we've only got 40% of the way across. We're going to need a lot more buff stations, my friendos, if we're going to be spanning the entire right-hand side. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, my friends. We'll continue this whole lava bridge buff station thing until we get to the last house, okay? And then we will try this fight again. If it goes well, then we don't have to lava bridge the rest of the underside of the world here. But obviously, if we fail, then yeah, we will continue the lava bridge thing. Uh, I just kind of figured that, you know, because this is an open area, it's actually pretty easy to traverse. It's just when we get to the buildings, that's where things start to go a little bit south, right? So, yeah, I'm just kind of trying to figure out a good time-effective way to do this, and I feel like that might be the way to do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, 20 buff stations are now down, and that has covered the entire area of building. So, yes, I mean, strictly speaking, it does mean that we do not have buff stations in this sort of regular part of the underworld, but when it comes to the buildings, we're going to be buffed up to the absolute freaking max, my friends. So, let me go ahead and turn a light on in my room, because apparently it's gotten dark while I've been recording. <laughs> and uh, yeah, time for another Wall of Flesh attempt. When you've done so much in the underworld that you've actually wound up with 114 fleshy dolls. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do this thing. I should mention, yes, I do realize I didn't use the rage or adrenaline effects before. So, um... Maybe I should actually make the effort to keep an eye on those, eh? Alright, so, bewitching table going down here. Ammo box also going down here. We now have absolute maximized buffs. Um, at least I hope we do. Uh, so let's make sure we got all of our dudes on. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a little bit of Wall of Flesh Ponage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope we do well this time as well. Come on now, we're using the Akrashard shotgun with the acceleration rounds, and I'm hoping that it's going to do the job. I am realizing right now that I haven't zoomed out yet, so uh, that could work against us. Oh, there we are. Oh, I just about managed it. <laughs> when you have to introduce your second hand to the keyboard while simultaneously trying to escape away from the wall of flesh. Oh, it's a risky move, it is. Really not doing bad. Genuinely surprised, actually. Yeah. All right, come on. Half health, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I'm still going to die, though. Ooh. No, oh, I got caught on the terrain again. I feel like I was at very, very low health for a good amount of time there. Yeah, I was nowhere near the house section, eh? Hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe we start a little bit sort of further along? Maybe we start at the building here and go from there, because then it won't take as much time to get ourselves over to the buffed up area, right? I guess the good thing is we don't have to go ahead and, like, make buff potions in between our boss fights here. We simply just need to get back to the area where we're going to start the fight. It really is as simple as that. That's why I do love modded. You're not spending so much time between fights, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's continue on, my friends. Yeah! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Maximize the damage, maximize the damage. That's the first ever time I got adrenaline through the wall of flesh fight. That was big, my friends. That was big, big, big with a capital big. Ooh. Oh, I'm not looking too good, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm starting to feel not so good now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He's going a bit berserk. He's freaking sending out demon scythes. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, this isn't impossible. Oh, I feel like I'm doing so little damage. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds for a heal. Guys, we could have it. The buffed up area is most certainly doing the job. No! Oh, my heart can't 
take this kind of stuff. I'm shaking. I'm actually legitimately shaking. I thought we had that. Oh, I thought we had that. I thought we had that. I thought we had that. You know what? I'm referring to the wiki gang, my friends. The wiki seems to suggest that the overloaded blaster, the gunk shot, the archer fish, and the dragoon drizzle fish all apparently are the best weapons for the uh, master mode, freaking death mode, wall of flesh, gunk shot. Boom. We have 31 range damage. It requires 18 purified gel hellstone bars. Okay, that's actually really, really easy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you get both the gunk shot and the overloaded blaster, both from the slime god. Except one of them drops directly from the slime god. And I don't believe we have it. But there we are, my friends. Gunk shot has been obtained. Oh, wow. That is not insignificant, eh? Very slow speed, very strong knockback. Shoots a spread of bullets, does extra damage to enemies at point blank range. I'm just going to keep going until we've defeated the wall of flesh. I know this is going to be an extended episode, but I want this done. I truly, truly want this done. How is it possible I can't even take down the slime god now? My patience is wearing thin now, my friends. It really, really is. For God's sake. Sake. Possibly a catastrophic mistake starting at the buff area, but uh, sod it. I'm just, I just, I don't care anymore, my friends. I just don't care. Alrighty, proper in concentration mode now here, my friendos. It's those demon scythe things. That's where I sort of fall down a bit. Any second now, he's probably going to shoot them out. There we are. And okay, right. Possibly, I don't want to freaking speak too soon, but we may have it this time. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. We did it. Perseverance shone through, my friends. Perseverance has shone through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know I'm going to have to take down the wall of flesh again because we need the master mode drop for our display. Oh, good God. Guys, at least we have an additional inventory slot. At least we have that going for us. Let's do the comment of the day and wrap up the episode. We'll take down more Wall of Fleshes in future. We will finish off the Wall of Flesh display area. But for now, we need to wrap this up. I'm done for the episode. I truly, truly am done. Hey guys, random side note. Look how close to the middle of the world we were. That's not a big distance, is it? <laughs> so check this out. We've actually got ourselves a summon weapon. The Mystic Black Hawk Remote 40 summon damage summons a Black Hawk jet to fight for you. Jets will fire bullets from your inventory. Ooh. Now, doesn't that sound spicy? So check this out, my friends. We have a Ranger emblem. So for future Wall of Flesh fights, we're going to have a whole heap more damage. And it looks like we've got some buffs to our prefixes. Yeah, Warding now does six defense as opposed to four. So that is pretty dang cool. Oh, it's the Charm of Lark. So if I was to put that in here... Uh, oh, it still is six defense. Okay, well, never mind. It's still going to be a nice thing to have in our inventory, so we'll keep it going. Now, today's comment of the day comes from Toxic Cannon, who says, Don't forget to go into the abyss and open some of those obsidian chests in there with the shadow key. Hey, I appreciate the reminder. The abyss is actually somewhere I've not explored. In fact, at all. Well, I mean, we've explored the Sulfurous Ocean, but not the Abyss underneath. And maybe that's something to consider doing in the very near future, my friends. Who knows? Maybe you guys should let me know in the comments area down below at which point you believe Abyss exploration should be done in the Calamity Mob. Because honestly, I've no idea, my friends. Real quick before ending off. Oh, there it is. The law item or law items. There's two of them. The Wall of Flesh will do that one. I see the deed is done. The unholy amalgamation of flesh and hatred has been defeated. Prepare to face the terrors that lurk in the light and dark parts of this world. Oh, man. If the Wall of Flesh is anything to go by, I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. Can we get a like for finally taking down the wall of flesh after so many attempts? And more to the point, keeping ourselves going, having our determination and perseverance shine through. I think that deserves a like. Hit the subscribe button, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my future episodes, where they're going to start getting spicy now, my friends. It is hard mode, death mode, master mode, all the modes. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. But for now, thank you for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful support. I really, truly do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.